Between the ancient Roman world and the modern world, between the ancient Roman emperors and Napoleon, there was really only one ruler that controlled most of Western Europe. And the person you're referring to is Charlemagne, or Charles the Great, or Carolus Magnus. It's a legend, really, Charlemagne. And in fact, historians struggle because there are so few fragments of information. This is so long ago. Well, we're talking about the late 8th and 9th century. This is a really long time ago. On Christmas Day in the year 800 exactly, Charlemagne is crowned emperor by the Pope in Rome. This is a huge deal. Well, the Roman emperors in the ancient world had ruled from Rome until Constantine moved the empire to Constantinople, what is now Istanbul. And so the center of power had shifted to the east. And now, in 800, 500 years after Constantine, we have now an emperor in the west. But there's still an emperor in the east who has moral authority. Then people still look to that emperor in the east in the Byzantine Empire. So let's think about what happened in Western Europe that allowed for Charlemagne to become the new emperor. Well, the first thing that's important to understand, the Western Roman Empire basically fell apart. What we see beginning, especially in the 5th century, is the dissolution of the institutions of the Roman Empire. The idea of the Roman Empire hangs on, but its ability to govern comes apart. So in order to understand what happened in the Roman Empire in the West, you have to recognize the pressure from a series of invasions from people that the Romans thought of as barbarians. These were people who migrated into the lands that were part of the Roman Empire. You might know them as the Ostrogoths and the Visigoths and the Huns. And one of those peoples were the Franks. Now, this is not Franks as in France. These are people who actually settled in what is now Germany, what is now France. Charlemagne was a Frank, and if we go back several centuries, we can see the beginning of the kingdom of the Franks. But in addition to the Franks, there were also the Lombards. This was another Germanic people, another group who the Romans would have considered barbarians, who had conquered northern Italy. They were often threatening what was the heart of the old Roman Empire, and that was Rome, the Papal States. Now, when I say Papal States, I mean the areas governed 